counter mode. Each block is different with the other block. Execution of the encryption or decryption algorithm does not depend on the input. The ciphers can be performed in parallel for both encryption and decryption. The block of plain text or ciphertext can be processed in random access fashion. Encryption for counter mode. The counter is encrypted, producing an output block. It is then XOR with the plain text producing the ciphertext. Since each block is independent from one another the encryption can be performed in parallel, so long as the value of each counter is different from one another. For example, using a 3-bit block cipher. If the counter is 1, the 3-bit representative is 000. After encryption of the counter the output block produced is 1, 1, 1. The example input plain text is 101. The encrypted counter is then X or with the plain text to produce the cipher text of 010. Decryption for counter mode, same values of counter from encryption is used and encrypted again. The output from the encryption in counter mode is used as the cipher text. The encrypted counter XOR with the cipher text block to recover the corresponding plain text block. As each block is independent from one another, the decryption can also be parallel, provided that the counter values are different from one another. For example, using a 3-bit block cipher. If the counter is 1, the 3-bit representative is 000. After encryption of the counter the output block produced is 1, 1, 1. The output from the encryption example shown earlier is used as cipher text which is 010. Then the encrypted counter is X or with the cipher text to produce the plain text of 101. The end. Thank you for listening. Hope you enjoy the video and learn more about the counter mode and block cipher.